the reason I came to BST was in my final year of science, um, I, God put on my heart to become a youth pastor. So as part of that, he wanted me to come to Bible college. One of the reasons I came to BST or chose BST was because one of my friends, also another student, said that uh, BST is non-denominational and that was a, a big factor in deciding which Bible college to go to. Currently at my church, which is uh, Kingsridge Baptist, um, I'm helping with the youth ministry there, um, also doing the sound desk uh, at, at, on the night services, uh, the Sunday school and a couple of other ministries there. So this is my last year of study. This year I'm also doing a pastoral internship at Rosalie Baptist Church. Hopefully uh, when everything's finished up I'll be able to move into some kind of full-time ministry position. How that will look I'm not too sure. I never really had a strong desire to be a preacher or a pastor or anything like that. I've been working in the construction industry. I've been thinking about doing some study uh, to set myself up further down the track uh, in a different occupation. Originally I thought I wanted to be a teacher and I was going to do a Bachelor of Education and uh, I came here um, with the intention of maybe doing just a diploma um, to set myself up to do religious teaching in, in the future. I've been really appreciative, appreciative of all the lecturers that I've been able to learn under. I've learnt a great deal about what it means to be a Christian through their example and seeing who they are as people in Christ just as much as I have gained intellectual knowledge from reading books and doing assignments and stuff. We first came to um, this college, which was in those days called the Bible College of Queensland in 1991. It was part of our preparation to go to Nepal. Um, so we had a year here where we lived on campus. I, I did what was then an Associate of Theology through the Australian College of Theology, um, which was six subjects over one year full time. And I just studied a couple of odd subjects. I was the mother of two very small children and we had our third child at the end of that year. So when I was able, I got up to uh, just one class. Prior to uh, coming here to BST this time, we were in, we'd been in Nepal and uh, we went there in 1993 and we returned at the end of 2013. So uh, my main role in Nepal had been working as a medical doctor which involved initially um, working in a village hospital which was a very general general practice and then most of the rest of my time that we were in Kathmandu I was involved in teaching in a postgraduate uh, general practice training program. And I began as a mum with three small children, four years and under and I did a little bit of homeschooling when the need came. I also taught at the local staff school at the hospital. And then we moved on to Kathmandu uh, for our children's educational needs. And that's when um, Bruce lost the visa and I had to take on the visa through the Ministry of Education. And so I then taught in the high school, went back to my original training and was a music teacher. And then I moved on into administration and uh, worked as the principal when we finally left in two, at the end of 2013. The privilege of being back here at B BST is being part of the community, uh, particularly the mission trips um, have been a really encouraging time. Uh, last year I went to Tamworth with a, a group of young people. Um, being the one of the older ones uh, with grey hair also had great uh, privileges and benefits as well and I just enjoyed sharing with some of our, our younger folk uh, in that. And I think that's been helpful in my own um, journey of faith, just to be exposed to where young people are at again and to um, fellowship with them. And it's been a really great time of uh, fellowship uh, here at BST. And the highlights for me have definitely been Fridays. There is just nothing better than sitting under a godly lecturer and having the Word of God expounded, then coming in for chapel and worshipping with so many young people who are going to go out and impact the world for Jesus and then going on to fellowship group and feeling a part of a, of a team and, um, and then finishing with community lunch. You just can't beat that. It's, 